हेलो फ्रेंड्स दिस इज रश्मि सिंह वेलकम टू माय चैनल अनरैवलिंग साइंस लेट्स हैव अ मोमेंट ऑफ साइंस प्लीज साउंड इन दिस वीडियो वी आर गोइंग टू लर्न अबाउट व्हाट इज साउंड propagation of sound medium of sound waves terms related to sound speed of sound in different medium reflection of sound echo ultrasound sonar structure of human ear In our daily life we hear so many kinds of sounds through various sources. Sound can be defined as a kind of energy that generates a sensation of hearing in our ears. Production of sound can be aided by plucking, scratching, rubbing, blowing or shaking any object. As you can see in the picture when a ruler is shaked we see we hear some sound same with the guitar drum and tuning fork also we can hear different sounds through their vibration propagation of sound sound requires a medium to travel medium is anything which is capable of transmitting a sound a medium can be any solid liquid or gas sound cannot travel in vacuum When an object vibrates then the air particles around it also starts vibrating in the same way and are displaced from their stable position These vibrating air particles exert a force on the nearby air particles so they are also displaced from their rest position and starts to vibrate This process of con- is continued in the medium till the sound reaches our ear The disturbance produced by the sound travels through the medium. The medium particles do not travel forward themselves. Instead, the disturbance makes them move forward. Wave is a disturbance which travels through a medium and carries energy. So the sound waves are known as mechanical waves. As you can see in the picture when the vibrating object moves forward it pushes and compresses the air in front of it forming a region of high pressure called compression When the vibrating object moves backward it forms a region of low pressure called rarefaction A vibrating object produces a series of compression and rarefaction Longitudinal wave A wave in which the particles of the medium vibrate back and forth in the same direction in which the wave is moving is called a longitudinal wave. For example, the sound waves are longitudinal waves. Transverse waves. When the particles of the wave oscillate up and down perpendicular to the direction of the wave, they are called transverse wave. The upper portion of the curve is called crust and the lower portion of the curve is called trough for example rippled formed on the surface of water are transverse wave medium of sound waves air water and steel are the material medium needed by the sound to pro- travel and propagate sound track cannot travel in vacuum As you can see in the picture if we take an electric bell and hang it inside an air tight bell jar which is connected to a vacuum pump as shown in the figure you can hear the sound of the bell on pressing the switch but if the air is pumped out of the jar and a vacuum is created you cannot hear the sound of bell on pressing the switch this shows that sound cannot travel in vacuum characteristics of sound waves The characteristics of sound waves are 
wavelength frequency amplitude time period velocity wavelength the combined length of the compression or crust and the adjacent ray of action or trough is called a wavelength as you can see in the picture it is denoted by a greek letter lambda higher frequency has shorter wavelength as shown in the picture frequency it is the number of vibrations per second vibrations are the number of compressions and ray of actions the si unit of frequency is hertz the symbol of frequency is nu as you can see lower frequency and higher frequency higher frequency has short wavelength and lower frequency has larger wavelength amplitude The amplitude of sound wave is the height of the crust or trough. As you can see the picture, the amplitude. It is represented by the letter A. The SI unit is the same as that of density or pressure. Time period Time taken to complete one vibration or the time required to pass two consecutive compressions or ray of actions through a point is called time period the si unit of time period is second it is denoted by t the frequency of the wave is reciprocal to the time period so the frequency is 1 by t pitch pitch of the sound depends on the frequency it is directly proportional to the frequency so greater the frequency higher will be the pitch loudness loudness depend on amplitude of sound greater the amplitude of sound greater is the energy and louder is the sound loudness is directly proportional to amplitude You can see in the picture that soft sound has small amplitude and louder sound has large amplitude. Low pitch sound has low frequency and high pitch sound has high frequency. Velocity. The distance traveled by the wave in 1 second is called velocity of the wave. Velocity is equals to distance travel upon time taken. it can also be written as wavelength upon time where lambda is the wavelength of wave traveled in one time period so 1 by t is also the frequency which is the reciprocal of time period so velocity is equals to wavelength into frequency and this is the wave equation speed of sound The speed of sound is more in solid, less in liquid and least in gases. The sound of speed also depends on the temperature of the medium. If the temperature of the medium is more, the speed of sound is more. Reflection of the sound. The reflection of sound occur at the surface of solid or liquid. Sound also follows laws of reflection. Laws of reflection are the incident ray, the reflected ray and the normal lies in the same plane. And the second law is the angle of incident is always equal to the angle of reflection. So we can prove it with a experiment. take two identical pipes arrange them on the table near the wall as shown in the picture keep the clock at one open end of the pipe and try to hear the sound of clock through the other pipe 
You can adjust the position of pipe so that you can hear the best sound of clock. Now you can measure the angle of incident and reflection. Echo The repetition of sound which is caused due to the reflection of sound waves is called echo. Echo is produced when sound reflected from hard surface like brick wall or mountain. Soft surfaces tend to absorb sound. The time interval between the original sound and the reflected sound must be at least 0.1 seconds. The minimum distance of reflecting surface from the source of sound must be 17.2 meters. Reverberation Echoes may be heard more than once due to the repeated or multiple reflections of sound from several reflecting surfaces. This causes persistence of sound called reverberation. In big halls or auditorium to reduce reverberation, the roofs and walls are covered by sound absorbing material like compressed fiber boards, rough plaster or draperies or curtains. Example of reverberations are megaphone and stethoscope. Range of hearing Human beings can hear sound frequency between 20 to 20,000 hertz. This is called as audible range of sound. Sound with frequency less than 20 hertz is called infrasonic sound. Sound with frequency more than 20,000 hertz is called as ultrasonic sound. As you can see in the picture, humans falls into the auditory field of sound. Elephants and moles hear infrasonic sound, cats and dogs ultrasonic and dolphins and bats are even more higher frequency they can hear. Ultrasound Ultrasounds have frequency which are capable of traveling every part even in the presence of obstacle. It is used to detect crack in the metal blocks in industries without damaging them. It is used in industries to clean hard to reach parts of object such as spiral tubes, odd shaped machines etc. Echocardiography It is a technique in which the waves are used to reflect action of heart and form images. Ultrasonography it is a technique of obtaining pictures of internal organs of the body by using echoes of ultrasonic waves. Sonar Sound Navigation and Ranging Sonar is a device which is used to find distance, direction and speed of underwater objects like submarines, icebergs, underwater hills or valleys. Working of Sonar it consists of a transmitter and a receptor or detector that is installed at the bottom of the ship. As you can see in the picture, the transmitter produces and transmits ultrasonic waves. These waves travel through the water and after striking the bottom of the sea are reflected back and received by the detector. These reflected waves are converted into electric signal by detector. The sonar device measures the time taken by the ultrasound waves to travel from the ship to the bottom of the sea and back to the ship. Structure of human ear The ear consists of three parts. Outer ear middle ear and inner ear. Outer ear is also called pinna and it collects sound from the surrounding. The sound passes through the auditory canal to reach the eardrum which is a thin elastic membrane. Middle ear has three bones, hammer, anvil and stirrup which are linked to each other. You can see in the picture the pinna and the three tiny ear bones in the middle ear. Inner ear has a called tube coiled tube called cochlea which is filled with liquid containing nerve cell. 
the other side of cochlea is connected to the auditory nerve which goes to the brain working of ear when the compression of sound waves strikes the ear drum the pressure on the outside of the ear drum increases and pushes the drum inwards while during rarefaction ear drum moves outward and thus ear drum starts vibrating back and forth these vibrations are increased by the three bones of the middle ear and are transmitted to the inner ear in the inner ear the pressure variations are turned into electric signal by cochlea these electric signals are sent to brain via auditory nerve and brain interprets them as sound as you can see in the picture how the sound travels through air so the path is sound waves enter into pinna then into a ear canal then touches the ear drum then goes into the three bones of middle ear where the vibrations become greater then they goes into cochlea and cochlea transmits them into auditory nerve and which sends it to the brain thanks for watching please do like share and subscribe